you welcome to this video today it's been an exciting time having you guys um, subscribe and watch my videos um, I want to believe it's been exciting and educative um, today we will be looking at um, a comparative anatomy comparative gross anatomy um, of or between two, the liver of two different species, okay. This is the a canine, the dog, okay. This, this is the liver of the dog. I've actually done this in uh, one of my previous uh, videos, okay. And then um, this is the liver of um, a goat, okay. And like I told you guys in my previous video when I was doing that of the dog that I will be doing another video to compare okay showing you the difference okay between the the, the liver of a dog and that of a goat so today uh, let me start by just running through that of the dog and then so I can show you the difference between it and that of the goat this is that of a goat that is a ruminant all right, it's a ruminant. Okay, so this belongs to a goat. Okay, um, I actually told you that um, the liver. Okay, let's start from the lateral surfaces of the liver. Okay, the lateral surface is uh, the lateral, and then uh, the visceral surface is actually the surface that makes contact with uh, other visceral organs like the stomach, intestines. Uh, even the the kidney okay there's a kidney the right kidney okay so starting from the lateral surface this is the the right okay the right part of this liver and then this is the left part okay same thing applies here the right part and then the left part all right mm, the lobes we have on that of the ruminant okay is just the right lobe okay this is the right lobe okay this is the right lobe okay the right lobe okay let me use a, a tongue forceps we use a forceps to show this clearly okay so this is the right lobe why this is the left lobe okay um here also in the dog we have the right and then the left lobe but when you look at the right lobe here, okay, we have the right lateral lobe and the right medial lobe, okay, that is talking about the liver of a dog, okay, the right lateral lobe, the right medial lobe, and then we have the quadrate lobe, okay, and then in between the quadrate lobe and the right medial lobe, we have the gall bladder, okay, this is the gall bladder, all right, while here we have the left medial lobe, okay and then the left lateral lobe okay but when you look at that of the goat okay or the ruminant in general you find out that the right lobe is undivided okay unlike that of the dog where you have the right lateral and right middle here you just have the right just one right lobe okay and then the quadrant lobe firmly attached okay to the right lobe why this is also one just a single uh, uh, left lobe, okay? So in the ruminant, the, the left lobe is undivided, the right lobe is undivided, okay? But here, in the dog, the left lobe, you have the lateral part and the medial part, and then you have the, the right lobe also have the lateral part and then the medial part, okay? Now let's quickly go to the medial, or let's go to the visceral, sorry, the visceral surfaces of this liver okay just like I told you in my previous video that the best way you can identify or how to identify the left and the right part in a liver that is not in its institute position in the animal or cadaver is to identify uh, the quadrate loop okay if you can get the quadrate loop this is a quadrate loop okay why this is the right medial loop so the gallbladder is in between. So if this is the right medial lobe, then that means it's the right part. And then this is the left part. Also, the renal impression is usually located on the 
the right part of the liver. Okay, so now let's go ahead with our lectures. Um, the on this visceral surface, okay, as you can see, this is the left part. So the left part is also the, is still divided just like on the lateral side into the left lateral lobe and then the left medial lobe. And here you still have on the right part, you have the right lateral loop and then the right medial loop okay in between the right medial loop and the quadrant loop you have the gall bladder okay now let's look at that of the goat okay here just like i told you earlier on each of the loops the left and right loop they are all divided okay they are just uh, single loops so this is the left loop the entire left loop while this is the entire right loop Okay, there's also a quadrant loop, and like I told you earlier, on, the gallbladder is located between the right loop, so this is the right loop, and then the quadrant loop. So this is a quadrant loop here. Okay, this is the quadrant loop. Okay, the quadrant loop here, while this is the, the right loop. So I take it again, this is the left loop, this is the quadrant loop, and then this is the the left sorry sorry this is the left loop this is the quadrant loop and then this is the right loop okay now uh, I want to recap okay this gallbladder is located just take it as a hint it's a guide to identify the parts of these uh, structures okay the gallbladder is usually located between the right loop and then the quadrant loop okay why this is the left loop now let's look at the cordate loop. The cordate loop is actually this one here. Okay, located almost on the other, on the most cranial aspects of the other uh, lobes. Okay, so this is a, this lobe here. Okay, so this is the papillary process of the cordate loop. Okay, this one here are the cordate lobes. Okay, this is a cordate loop. Is a cordate loop. So this is a papillary process. Okay, this is a papillary process of the cordate loop. Why this is a cordate process? Okay, of the cordate loop. Why this is the renal impression? And that of the ruminants. Okay, this is the cordate process. Okay, the cordate process. This here, the cordate process. Okay, of the cordate loop. Why this is the renal impression? Okay, because the kidney, the right kidney, you know, makes an impression on on it. Okay, causing this uh, the the nature of the the depression you have there. Okay, um, I think um, with this, I'm sure that uh, you've been helped in this part of um, in this aspect of uh, the liver. Thank you for watching. Uh, do well to subscribe to. Uh, my channel if you've not done so and don't forget to click on the notification bell icon since uh, we have more videos coming your way uh, don't also forget to share our videos okay and then um, we'll see you next time thank you